Hello and welcome to Workflows That Work. This is a blended course for adult learners with fully online capability. The goal is that when adults miss, as people are prone to do, they have a variety of reasons that they might miss a course, they can easily review and complete coursework fully online and yet still collaboratively. It will be about 70% synchronous and about 30% asynchronous. As a reminder, the outcome of this course is that learners will design and implement a structural change within their role, department, or across departments to improve workflows and systems within the GCISD administrative offices. My goal in this video is to explain how this course is set up to do just that. I'd like to start with my front page. In Canvas, of course, we have the global navigation and in workflows that work, this is my course navigation. You can see that I am in student view. And so this is what the students will have access to. Home, I'll come back to the home page in a moment. The syllabus, which is one of the places that communicates course objectives in detail and provides a course outline, among other things. Modules, discussions, people, and grades. And I want to click on grades for just a moment because this is an outcomes-based course. I gave students an option of scoring out of 10 points and all it will say is incomplete or complete if they turn in the assignment. Because the goal isn't for them just to complete assignments mindlessly. The goal is for them to implement change within the district. So I really don't want them to focus on grades at all. Okay, back to the front page. I like to have a front page that has a brief description and a nice course image in a banner format and also buttons. So of course students can access the buttons from the module sections, but I always find that this is almost like a bookmark page. And, and since it's the front page and the home page, it acts as a welcome page for the students. You can see that my buttons are labeled Start Here, Introduction to Workflows That Work, and also there's alt text on each of my buttons as well. I'm going to go to the Start Here module. The purpose of a Start Here module is to set the tone for the course. The tone that I intend to set is one of professional learning unlike anything that they've ever seen. Learners will drive their own learning and be active in their growth. My Start Here module includes a course overview. This talks about the why and the how of the course, and it outlines the dates and what the outcome is. It also includes contact information, and learners can set up coaching support with me. And finally, it includes the water cooler, which is where learners can post questions and give feedback to peers and answer questions and have a general discussion about this course. Next, I'd like to talk about each of the modules. Each module, and there are one, two, three, four, five, each of these five modules represents one blended meeting. So there will be a face-to-face -face component at least five times throughout this course. The goal of the first two modules is to set the stage for learners to create their own implementation plans. This includes module one, which has the topics growth mindset and workflow analysis, and module two, which has the topics design thinking and troubleshooting. I'm going to open up module one and talk about how I chunked the information. These modules are chunked by topic, so the first half of the day will be spent talking about and learning about the growth mindset from the very first page, I include an introductory engaging activity to get people to want to interact with the material. And then they reflect on what they are learning, watching, and reviewing. At the beginning of each assignment, I include the objective, an EQ or essential question, the question that drives the learning, and then the product in that activity that the learner should leave having completed. 
The goal of each activity is to create a learning resource that they can refer back to later. So you can see in this activity that they have a playlist and then they'll capture their learning using one of these templates. And if they wanted to use something different, a different way to capture their learning, I would be okay with that as well. These are just options for people to capture their learning. When you click on the template, it opens up and asks to make a copy and all of these templates are in Google. So people can collaborate with one another very easily with the Google Workspace. So here is the example for the Freyer model template for growth mindset and for fixed mindset. Each assessment is discussion based and this allows learners to connect dots and to connect with one another as they're encouraged to reply to at least three people. I believe that each topic chunk demonstrates how my design approach is realized. It's outcomes based. Learners are going to create something that they can use in their real lives. And there's a gradual release of control. So in the first session, we start with growth mindset and workflow analysis and learners have time to work on their own and learners have time to work in groups. The second full module is about design thinking. And so I'm introducing them again to kind of this topic of the learner's mindset and growth mindset and building on what we talked about with growth mindset and then troubleshooting. I'm helping them to develop the tools to be able to apply growth and learning mindset. As I move through the next few modules, session three is when they will actually create their plan. And then session four, they'll reflect on the changes that they need to make to their plan and begin to fully implement their plan. And there's some time between sessions four and five. There's quite a big gap for implementation. And during that time, I'll be coaching the learners. Finally, we'll come back together again for session five and learners will present what they implemented, what worked and what didn't work. And they'll have time to reflect with one another and think about how they might move forward with their plan. Overall, my goal with the first two modules of this course is to help the adult learners learn to accept that failure will be a part of their learning. Since the first two modules will be more face-to-face, -face, I'll be present to act as a net to catch them when they fail forward. Regarding infrastructure and system support issues, First of all, I work for the technology department and we are right next door to the admin building and we already have a great relationship with the people on central admin. Second, there's a variety of meeting rooms for the face-to-face -face portions and I'll also be building troubleshooting skills through the coursework. And then finally, my goal is to have the learners use Google Chat and the course discussion boards for conversations that I foresee continuing beyond this course. I hope you enjoyed the first two modules and the Start Here module of my course, and I can't wait to get your feedback. Thank you.